Old school. Up and down. Yeah. <laughs> what more do you need? We're all tagged out. I am tagged out now. 100% one, one shot headshots. There you go. That's really good. Hey everybody, Greg Ray here with Outdoor Solutions and from Field to Table. If you're brand new to our channel, welcome. I am the founder of Outdoor Solutions and on the other side of that camera is my partner in crime, also my son, Eddie Ray. We are extremely blessed with what we get to do. We get to travel the world on different hunting and fishing adventures and we put on our from Field to Table events and also our long range schools Along the way, we get to meet some pretty interesting characters. If you are a fan of Forgotten Weapons and Ian McCollum, you are especially going to enjoy this video as we follow him around at one of our From Field to Table events. Y'all check it out. Safety is paramount. So rule number one, treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Two, never point a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Three, keep your weapon on safe and your finger off the trigger to off on target with the intent to fire. And four, I'm not gonna say the most important, but in this environment and what you guys are gonna be doing over the next couple days, it's gonna be very important is ensure your target's foreground and background. Well ring, uh, quarter MOA left. Awesome. Right where you need to be. See there? I like it. Did, serving ammo. Did you see what my <laughs> scope adjustments are? Uh, oh, look at this. Yeah. Look at this Stone Age some, nonsense. Something, oh, yeah. Old school. Up and down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what more do you need? <laughs> and those are MOA, I think, because I turned them like they're MOA and they seem to have put me in the right spot. There are no clicks. Oh, there's no click? You no just turn. Oh, just wow. Turned. So you got two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't re like you can't reset that. It goes it goes to seven, so I'd actually have fingers left over. I I could actually use that one. <laughs> Your high percentage shots are the one hundred percent broadside, midway, right behind the shoulder. Uh, and when I say midway, from up and up and down vertically, uh, up and down, but just right behind that shoulder. Or if there's still enough uh, a headshot right behind the ear, if you're confident enough that uh, that you've got that shot, that is uh, a, a very lethal shot. If they're quartering away uh, just a little bit, same thing, midway vertically, and aim for that opposite shoulder. And that's going to guarantee you a double lung shot, and, and, and you're going to find them. So shots are only going to be 120 to 140 yards max. So it should be, should be pretty simple. Um, I'll just kind of come around and show. So that's just a, a broadside shot just right behind the shoulder, mm -hmm. not on the shoulder. And there, I think they're trying to show a, a, a head shot. And then the other one was the quartering away. Mm -hmm. That's a little low in my opinion. I would, I would pull it up. But basically what you're aiming for is that opposite shoulder, you know, up in, up okay. in here. So you're trying to take out that opposite shoulder and that's going to put it right through both lungs. six deer right back in the same spot already.
there staring at the dead deer going, seems fine. And back in behind them, a pig comes into the feeder. It's probably a boar, but hopefully a young one. And I definitely wanted to take that opportunity to, to get one. So, uh, it appears to have gone down pretty concise with uh, a good headshot. Awesome job. Awesome. Like 65 yards, I mean, it's... Yeah. Not exactly the world's most difficult shot. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thank you. What you what gun is that? What'd you get it done with? Uh, that's a Steyer Scout in 6.5 Greenmoor with about a 30 or 40 year old blue bolt. Is that a Vari X2? <laughs> that's awesome, man. Again, 65 yards doesn't require So, I've got someone different with me now. Um, Ian got his doe down and one pig down. And this is just an awesome spot for white-tailed doe. So, uh, he got lucky. He got a pig down, but still has to get his doe. So, Jay came and swapped Ian out with Jeff. And uh, we're going to see if these does come back in and uh, see if we can't get the job done for Jeff. Jeff, you smoked her. Look at her over there. She's gonna go down. I'm pumped. Dude, that was a great shot. She's gonna go down. Yeah. There she goes, dude. There she goes, dude. dude. My heart's pounding. Look. <clears throat> dude, that was a perfect shot. That's so awesome. Ian had got his down right over there. That's awesome. And you just got your first white tail doe. Oh, I'm so stoked. Thank you. She just came in all I told you. Should they just show up, man? I feel right up in here, right above my hand. Feel that diaphragm? Yep. Right there. Push yep. with your one finger, push hard into that diaphragm, up against the bottom top of her breast, up high. Pull pull to me. Hard. Yep, you're you're on it. There you go. Perfect. Get her. I got yeah. something. Yeah, she went down. So what just happened, man? All right. So there were like, well, we're at a uh, at a stand with a feeder. We wait around for like an hour. Nothing happens. The feeder finally goes off, and the feeder. And so we've been sitting here about another hour. I'm keeping an eye out the side in the back of the the uh, stand, and lo and behold, behind us, a sow and two piglets come into one of the agricultural fields. And so we do a real quick 180, 
open up the back window and she came I think within about 120 130 yards and she pretty clearly smelled us turn around started walking back and I hit her I think I hit her right in the head that's what I was going for but she fell behind a tree and she's I think she pretty clearly toast good Super. deal man very excited. This means I have all three of my animals. I get to sleep in tomorrow morning and start butchering with Chef tomorrow. There you go. Okay. And buddy, good job. The thing I learned here last year from <laughs> Chef Albert is yeah. don't ruin the meat. Yep. You ruin the meat by doing things like putting bullets through it. So I came into this this year going, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot them all in the head. Well, so. and you're, you're three for three on it, man. Yeah. So I'd say uh, the plane worked. So I, you executed perfect. And I'm out of animals to get. So yeah, two hogs and a deer. We're I'm, all tagged out. I am tagged out now, 100% one, one shot headshots. There you go. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Congrats to you, buddy. Boom. Thank you. We'll see you in the morning, guys. So now we got the hind or the round. This is the bottom or outside round. This is the knuckle or the football. This is the flat iron steak. This is, we call, I call it the fish because it's a round cylinder type piece. We're just gonna cut right through here. And we wanna peel that meat off the bone. This is the eye of the round. This is the top round. This is the heel, which is part of the shank. We have got five first-time hunters, maybe even six, five, six first-time hunters. We've got all the animals down. Everybody has already done some butchering. We've already done some vacuum sealing. We're going to do some processing. Everybody is in our processing center right now making some jerky, uh, some things that are going to be on the menu for tonight. Sausage making is coming up. And man, most of all, we're just having a lot of fun. If you've ever considered a From Field to Table event, you need to get on our website, fromfieldtotable.com. Check them out. Give us a call.
I think this is going to turn out really good. We are doing uh, wontons filled with uh, chorizo boar sausage and cream cheese and uh, some wonderful Chinese plate, Chinese style spices. So this is char siu. It is a uh, shoulder clod that we marinated in some Chinese spices. Uh, we then smoked it for about four hours wrapped in bacon. <laughs> bravo, Ian, bravo. Looks, smells, and tastes fantastic. We have for you, centered here on a, uh, a pool of a sweet citrus ponzu sauce, we have uh, char siu, which is a marinated uh, veal shoulder that has been then wrapped in bacon and smoked for several hours along with a pair of boar and cream cheese wontons and a dab of hot Chinese mustard. They say all good things must come to an end so not goodbye but see you later. Absolutely and uh, <laughs> the good stuff's just coming to a beginning because I've got like 70 pounds of meat in a cooler there you go. going home. <laughs> we just loaded Ian's uh, vehicle up and yeah, he does. He's got about 70 pounds of goodness he gets to take home and uh, cook with his wife. Yep, many months of uh, good wild game in the freezer. Well, we appreciate you being here and we're going to see you again uh, yeah. soon. Yes, awesome. great plans. Yep, so stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.